Big moment here for Vice President, former Vice President Joe Biden. He just released that announcement, making it official, saying he is running for president. The 2020 race for president, Elizabeth Warren making it official today, kicking off her White House run at a rally in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Beto O'Rourke is in. Just moments ago, the Texas Democrat announced his bid for the White House. The 2020 presidential election is fast approaching, and to say the Democratic field has become a little crowded would definitely be an understatement. Democratic primary. It currently has more candidates running than the New York City Marathon. The big question is, why are so many Democrats running for president? According to the New York Times, almost 20 Democrats have officially thrown their hat into the race. According to one expert, the answer can be broken down to three parts. Less party control by the Democratic National Committee, noticeable candidate ambition, and current Republican control of the executive office. And what's happened in American politics since the 1960s is that the parties no longer control the nominating process in a way that they did in previous generations. In the past, um, in order to win the nomination, you had to gather the support of party elites. You have a system where anybody willing to expend the shoe leather to walk all the counties in Iowa or to put together an online fundraising apparatus that's going to be effective, they're potentially a candidate for office. Although the Democratic National Committee is the official head of the U.S. Democratic Party, its reins on what candidates enter what races has loosened. Due to television and digital technology such as social media, candidates have the power to carve their own personalized campaigns without relying on influential party leaders. Shaw said it's also noticeable that candidates are taking advantage of their star power. I think nowadays you strike while the iron is hot. I mean, Beto O'Rourke is hot right now. Beto O'Rourke is not going to be hot in 2024. He's going to be yesterday's news. The primary reason Democrats are fervent to run is to get President Donald Trump out of office, said James Henson, the director of the Texas Politics Project. You know, Democrats are very mobilized by Trump. I mean, Trump is an engagement machine, and he's created a sense of urgency among a Democratic elites, but also a sense of interest and mobilization among Democratic voters. A February 2019 poll from the University of Texas and the Texas Tribune found that overall 39% of Texans would definitely vote to re-elect Donald Trump in 2020, while 45% of Texans said they definitely would vote for someone else. The Texas primary is currently set for March 3rd, 2020. Packed presidential field means candidates are going to have to work harder to differentiate themselves to gain the likes of voters. Although this is still a time for uncertainty, and there's bound to be continued speculation on who will be the nominee, one thing is for sure, Democratic candidates are taking advantage of the times they are in and the changing dynamics of what it takes to run a presidential campaign.